Anyway, welcome back. My name is Joseph. On my left, I'm Riley Ammenhauser. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce your last name. It's it's Ammenhauser. 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 Yeah. Ammenhauser. Yeah. A lot of people have a hard time pronouncing it, so like, I always have to slow it down. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Ammenhauser. <laughs> Do you know what the podcast is called? Oh, <laughs>、uh, gotcha, gotcha.、Right? But you know? Yeah. How do you know? Because I looked at your Instagram, <laughs> and I remember. <laughs> Some people they don't know. They don't know what it is. Okay, no, I remember. I, 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 I know what it, I know what it is. Know what it is? Yeah. Wow. I got it. I'm don't honored.、Worry. I'm honored. I'm honored. <laughs> yes, yes. This is my first time actually talking to someone who I've never met before. Really? Well, me too. Like, is, I, I think this is my first podcast. Oh, this is my first podcast. I actually used to do a podcast <gasps> on my own,、When? like my freshman year of college. Except that w- which was two years ago, because I'm going to be a junior now,、uh-huh. and I I basically just talked to myself for thirty minutes. <gasps> so Wait, what was it called? It was like the life of Rye. <laughs> Rye. Wait, that's your nickname. Rai. Rai, yeah, I would say so. R I, R I, yeah, R I or R Y. Like、oh, my TikTok that's that's is、right. what up? It's Rai.、Mm. Um, so it all, but that's spelled with R Y. Like I don't、R-Y. do like what up? It's Rai, like R I. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs>、yes. Wait, so what did you talk about in the podcast? Um, it was basically like, like the beginning of college、mm. and how that transition was for me. And just kind of like stuff about like track and field、uh-huh. and social media and stuff, because、mm. like yeah, you started in your freshman year basically.、Then. Yeah, yeah, basically、oh. for sure.、Um, like the social media s- part of it. Yeah. But um, but yeah. Can can people still go like onto the platform to listen to the podcast, or did you take it down? <laughs> I think that it's probably still up, just probably very hidden.、Mm. Uh, it was on Spotify. Spotify, so I don't remember if like I took it down or deleted that Spotify account, but I don't know.、Oh. I have no idea. Wait, did you did you distribute it with Anchor or did you use something else? I think it was. It, it was. I、Anchor. think it was. Yeah,、oh, gosh, it was yeah. definitely that. But um, and you were doing weekly episode, something like that. I tried to do it as often、oh. as I could, <laughs> but like life with like track and field and everything with that, it was like kind of hard. So it'd be like,、mm. I'd be like two this month, two the next month, and yeah. So. Oh, got you, got you. Yeah. Do you have an intention of going back to that, or is it your podcast era is done? <laughs> I've actually thought about、uh-huh. it、um, quite a few times. Like literally, like a few weeks ago. During the summer, cause like、mm-hmm. I don't really do anything over the summer.、Mm-hmm. Um, like I was like, maybe I should just start a podcast or、yeah. like get back into it、yeah. and stuff like that. But I think that that'll be the, for the future, future. not gotcha, anything gotcha, soon. Gotcha. Right? Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, today's topic. Okay. I have two two topics. Okay. The first one is kind of boring. It's just track and field. Okay, no, because that's, that's your that's your strength. Yeah, right? that's yeah, your element, no, that's、right? that's perfect. Yeah, I love and it. And the second one, it's a little clickbaity. <laughs> okay, okay. How to, how to date an athlete? <laughs> okay, okay, no, the, that's good. The reason I like that. that. The second one, the reason that I came up with the second one is because when I go around doing the the interview thing, yeah,、uh, the, the matching one, the rating one,、mm-hmm. like everyone's like, oh, matching with an athlete, <laughs> athlete. They say it all the time, but I'm like. Where's all the athletes? You no. Know? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. No, I get that. That's gonna be good. Yeah, I, I like、you. it. Anyway, we'll see what happens. I'll、yeah. edit and I'll just decide、okay. what I'm editing. Okay. Perfect. No, that's good. It'll be fun to talk about. Yeah. Anyway, before we actually end the topic, what's your routine these days? I、okay. always ask people. Like, it's very different from like、mm-hmm. summer, then into the fall. So like, which which routine you want to know about? Right now. Right now, right now it's kind of boring. <laughs> it's boring because I'm not in any like summer classes.、Uh-huh. Like practice isn't happening.、Um, but I just、mm-hmm. moved into like a new、mm. new house, so that's what I've been doing for the past like week and a half. Like, like getting, moving stuff, right? Moving stuff、yeah. and like getting everything organized and just all that. Basically, like I, I'll wake up,、mm-hmm. get ready for my day, probably go get Starbucks or like a coffee someday.、Um, I do that every day.、Gotcha. It's, I just wake up and look forward to it,、gotcha. like, like、we're、the go- night after. We're gonna go from the beginning. What time do you get up? 
Okay, yes. <laughs> Since you're what, what an athlete. Time, what time do I get up? I It would probably be like, I like to sleep in in the summer. Mm-hmm. Oh, summer? I like okay. to sleep in in the summer. Um, the fall is a different story, mm-hmm. but like I'll probably wake up at like nine. Okay. That's me sleeping in. Mm. Um, my body just can't sleep sleep like later yeah. than that. So, yeah. And then, you know. And then what do you do? Like, what do you, do you eat? Yeah, I'll make a breakfast. I really, I make this really good breakfast sandwich. Uh-huh. So, like, I'll probably make that if I have the groceries uh-huh. for it. Um, like, oh, what do you make? Uh, a breakfast it? sandwich. It's like, like bagel, bagel with scrambled eggs, uh-huh. cheese. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Um, cream cheese, okay. avocado, okay. everything bagel um, seasoning. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And it's just so good. Gotcha. Not the av- avocado toast that everyone makes. No. No, not that one. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. No, but there's like avocado on the sandwich, and oh, it's like okay, so gotcha, good. Okay. Like just stack it all up on there, like literally everything. Mm-hmm. Oh, maybe bacon. Bacon. Okay, gotcha, bacon. Gotcha. Put some bacon on there, and it's like oh, so good. Okay, and then um, you make that when you get up at night ish. Yeah, probably. And then you eat that. And yeah. Then what do you do? What do I do? It during the summer. Yeah, during the summer, it's like kind of like. Um, like before that and everything like i'll brush my teeth wash my yeah. face like all that oh you, stuff. you take a shower in the morning no i take a shower at night oh and then you just do the eating and then brush your teeth blah 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 and then and then uh, um like in the summer i did like hot yoga all through mm. it just to, like change it up um so i would go to hot yoga at like like 10 30. Mm. um you have you have to book a class right I'm not taking any classes, right, oh, in the summer. Yeah. The hot yoga thing. Oh, yeah. Is hot yoga is like a class. Oh, yeah, so yeah, you have yeah. to sign up for that, Yeah, right? you have to sign up in the cl- oh, for the okay. class. Like, I got this, like, class package for the mm. summer just so, like, I mean, like, you're, you're doing track and field all throughout mm. the year, and I just wanted to do, like, something different. Mm. So, and I really liked it. Like, people think it's, people think it's just, like, stretching and, mm. like, all that stuff, but it's, like, it's like high intensity, like hit mm-hmm. training, which people probably aren't um, like, don't like they think it's just stretching, but mm-hmm. it's actually like cardio, like it's actually hard. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, and so. Then 10.30, mm-hmm. you have the yoga class. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes, right? Like every other day. Every other day. Every okay. other day. And then lunch, what do you usually eat? Um. I'm a big fan of like Jimmy John's. I'm mm. a big, big sandwich, sandwich person. Um, what do you get there? The number Go, twelve. The number like 12. it's called a Beach Club. Beach. Oh, it's okay. so good. It's on white bread and there's turkey, oh. um, gotcha. lettuce, tomato, gotcha. avocado. Gotcha. But not the what is it? The Italian spicy Italian. The first one. No, you I don't, don't like get that, that one. one. I've never like tried that one. I've literally oh. only ever just like made my own with ham uh-huh. and like you know all the toppings um or the beach club my dad would always get the beach club so that's how i kind of fi- found out like what it was mm. so i ever since then i've always gotten it gotcha, gotcha. yeah this is kind of uh out of topic but what do you think is the best restaurant here best restaurant yeah. in ann arbor yeah. hmm. i love to get recommendations you know yeah i go to i go to uh jagged fork almost mm. like like twice a week twice a week i love jagged fork even though it's just it's like breakfast place Mm -hmm. um what do you get there um i usually get the classic breakfast with it's with it's bacon scrambled eggs hash browns and pancakes and it's like a pretty good serving like you can like you can take some home and like be good for like the next morning also the hash Mm. browns are just so good Oh, I love hash browns. Okay. I've never been to Jagged Fork. You gotta go. Yeah, yeah. you have to Jagged go. Off. Or the yeah. strawberry shortcake, um, French toast. Got you, got you. Yes, got you. highly recommend. Got you. Okay, <laughs> after eating lunch, what do you do? Okay, um, it's a lot of chilling in the summer. <laughs> I literally like I love to sit outside mm. and like just a tan, like get tanned. Or yeah, something. yeah, I like tanning um, outside. Um, I like hang like. I'll probably like hang out with my family. Wait, probably here? no, in Illinois. Oh, Illinois, Illinois. Yeah, I was home for I was home for most of the summer. Mm-hmm. Um and then like obviously I came back here like 
um, like twice, and mm-hmm. I'm here until school starts, until the end of the year. Mm-hmm. So, because my brother and sister are like my best friends, so like I always hang out with them. Um, how old is your brother and how old is your sister? My brother is 18. 18, okay. Oh, yeah, 18, he's going to Purdue. He's gonna mm-hmm. run track and field there. Oh. Um, so that's really cool. And then my sister, she's gonna be a sophomore in high school. Mm-hmm. So she's like like 15, she's about to get her license. So mm. so yeah, literally my best friends, oh, yeah. <laughs> so what do, you, what do you do with your with your family? Um, a lot of like, again it's like a lot of chilling um we'll go shopping we'll like go Mm -hmm. grocery shopping like me and my sister like love to go to target Mm -hmm. um uh we'll go to like the pool um just go like downtown area from where Mm -hmm. i'm from and there's a lot of like shops down there there's like lululemon um uh you know what mod pizza is it you know what blaze is Okay. Well, it's like a it's like a oven roasted like like pizza place, and I guess that's like my favorite. Pizza's my favorite food. Pizza. Yeah. Wait, there's a there's a famous uh, pizza in Chicago, right? A few. Yeah, there's like Luminati's, Giordano's. Yeah, yeah, like, Giordano. Yeah, yeah. What What do you um, recommend to people? I love Luminati's. Luminati. I've never been there. Like it's um. They have deep dish pizzas. But I'm more of like a thin crust girl, but their mm. crust is like so good. And I think it's my favorite crust, but yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, and I'm pretty basic. I just get a cheese gotcha. pizza, gotcha, gotcha. maybe some pepperoni sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so after doing all that, mm-hmm. dinner, the same thing, yeah. just eat something. And then at nighttime, yeah. what do you do at night? At night, I am a bit, I love watching TV. Mm. Um, Netflix or something? Yeah, Netflix, Hulu, reality TV. Okay. I'm a big, I'm a big reality TV like person. Like I watch like the Kardashians, <laughs> okay. like Too Hot to Handle, <laughs> like Love Islands, like all of okay. those shows. Okay. I think it's just so entertaining. That's true. <laughs> Too so, Hot to Handle is a big one. Gotcha. And Perfect Match. I've like heard about it. I've never watched yeah, it. Yeah, oh, yeah. I, I think you should. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> so what is it? So you watch it till you go to bed? Yeah, I'll f- I oh. fall. I'm a, I'm a type of person who falls asleep with the TV on. Mm. like a lot of people like are like oh, no i can't do that like i have to like it needs to be quiet mm-hmm. um but no i like the background gotcha, background gotcha. sound for, from the tv gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> yeah. so so when you're explaining your routine mm-hmm. i didn't hear i didn't hear anything about oh i'm on my phone oh I'm on my phone. I'm, I'm, yeah i'm on my phone all the time just making tiktoks like mm-hmm. Literally in between everything that I just said, oh, it, I'm on TikTok. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Because these days, I'm noticing that right after I get up, I'm on my phone, yeah. like for an hour. Yeah. Wait, do you do that? Yeah. Oh, you do that? I do do that. Oh, I, I thought you didn't look at, you were on your phone. I'm on usually. my phone all the time. All the time? <laughs> like, if you were to look at my screen time right now, gotcha. I'm, I like I like multitask, though. Mm. Like, so I, I have this. Yeah. Right here. Wait, what is that? So the suction y- thing. Yeah, like. Oh, yo, that's smart. Yeah. Oh. I've never seen it. Yeah. Before. So. so that's how I make my TikToks. Watch <laughs> YouTube in the morning. Oh, like, okay, okay, like, okay. Yeah. Some good. So where did you get that? I got it. Hold on. I got it off of Amazon. Amazon. Right. So like. How'd you know about that? Like. On that TikTok. Thing? On TikTok. I literally saw it on TikTok okay, and I was like, yeah, I need it. Oh. It's reliable. Pretty re- reliable. Yeah, well, it just fell off. Oh, just fell off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but if you like really press it on, like, it'll oh, be fine. Okay, gotcha, it'll gotcha, be gotcha, fine. Gotcha. So it's good. Yeah, so that's how I make my TikToks. Watch YouTube. Gotcha, but I'm gotcha. Who's your favorite YouTuber? Just one thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, there's got to. Um, I like watching. Um, it's either vlogs or like funny stuff. Okay, you're the vlog type. Okay. Yes, yes. I love making vlogs, mm-hmm. watching vlogs, like all that stuff. But um, I would say my favorite YouTuber is Danny Duncan. Danny Duncan. Do you know who that is? Definitely heard of it. Yeah. Wait, let, let me Google that. Okay. I've heard of him. Yeah. He's so funny. Let's see. Like. Danny Duncan. Oh yeah, this is this is yeah. yeah. 
Right. He does uh, the drop shipping, right? The, the sell, selling merch. Yeah, he does merch. Yeah. He does a lot of stuff. Yeah. Like real estate, big business guy. Mm. So. Okay. Yeah, he's hilarious. He's funny. He's so funny. I've listened to his podcast, like a clips of okay. his podcast, yeah. but yeah, I yeah. actually like watch his videos. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, that's that. That's your routine. Yeah. These days. Mm-hmm. What about... When's the when's the track track season? I don't know anything about that. Yeah, track season starts in December mm-hmm. and goes all the way to like middle of June. Okay. So there is a indoor season from from December to like till March. And then you have like a two week break and then uh-huh. it goes straight into outdoor season. Mm. And then you're like traveling every single weekend and like but there's like preseason too. So like we'll start practicing like right when classes start and then it's every day. Every day practice. Every day besides Sunday. So if you start the the preseason. Yeah. How's your routine? Um you have the training, right? Yeah, the How training. How does that work? So, as I said, it was every. It's every day. Every day. Like in the at, morning. In the afternoon. Oh, afternoon. Afternoon. It's after classes, mm-hmm. so you will go to classes and then you will go to the facility basically like right away, mm-hmm. to do like like prehab. Mm. So you'll do like roll like you'll roll out. You'll stretch, um, like meet with your trainers to do like everything you got to do to like get ready for practice which takes like about like 30 minutes Mm -hmm. 30 minutes to an hour what time is it exactly do you know um i would say at like two okay at like two two. from two to three is like prehab like get ready for practice and then practice would probably be like from three to um three to five I'd say mm. because you do your warm up, which takes thirty minutes, and then you do your workout, which has a little bit of rest in between, like reps. So, like during preseason, it's a lot of running. Oops, mm-hmm. a lot of running, mm-hmm. <laughs> and just kind of like endurance, uh, muscular endurance stuff. Mm-hmm. So that would be around so like four thirty, and then you have like a ten minute break, and then you go into the lift. Mm. And we lift three times a week, f- and it'll take like about an hour. Okay. So what? Now we're at like five thirty. Yeah. Five thirty, and then you go into the training room after, and you do rehab. What is rehab? It's it's again it's like rolling out, um, like recovering from your workout, so mm. like your body feels good the next day, to do the next workout. So like that'll be like cold tub hot tub like contrast um like normatec boots like normatec boots is like where it squeezes like your legs and like gets mm. all the lactic lactic acid out um and then and then you like get to go home basically and have dinner okay so, so it's basically your entire afternoon so don't you have class sometimes after 12 or something like no routine? we're required to have like off. our practice be like oh. our classes need to be scheduled before two. Oh, so like we're not allowed to have a class in the afternoon but some people like have to like if they're like doing engineering or like i don't know medicine just that mm. type of stuff um so yeah wow. yeah and then obviously we still have homework yeah so you're basically doing that until like you go to sleep at night so at how, like the academic center. Wait, so if you're track, what's your major? I'm sport management. Oh, sport management. Yeah, yeah. So all the classes are like in the morning. Mm-hmm. Um, you know what that is, right? Sport management. I've heard of it. Okay, yeah. It's basically like a business degree, uh-huh. but like everything, all the examples in class are like sports. Mm. So yeah. Wait, so what do you want to do? What I want to do? Yeah. I would. I would just love to be an influencer. Full oh, time. okay. Full time. Full time. <laughs> you know, I'm big, love that. I'm big on love TikTok. That. Big on TikTok. Love um, that. But no, like my dream job would probably be like working in F1 racing. 
like in the, in the business operations of F1 racing, just kind of like the whole broad like she, broad stuff like um, business aspect of mm. like racing or like cars. I'm really into cars. Oh okay okay yeah. yeah. So, so how'd you get into track? Let's go um, all the way back. So I did gymnastics for twelve years, like when I was a kid. Okay. Um, gymnastics. Gymnastics. Twelve years. For twelve years. When I was a kid, yeah. I started when I was like one and a half. <laughs> one and a half. One and a half years old. <laughs> my mom brought me to these mommy and me classes. And ever since then, like I did, I did like competitive gymnastics for like 10 mm. years, mm. <laughs> like eight years. And then I, I hit this huge growth spurt when I was like 13. So then, like my um, my muscles couldn't keep up with my bones, so I mm. switched to volleyball, and I ended up being pretty good at volleyball. Um, I played all like all up until like my senior year of high school, and then um, I started track and field when I was a f- when I was in seventh grade. So I did okay. track and field and volleyball at the same time. But, like, in volleyball, everyone would be like, oh, my God, like, you can jump so high and stuff like that. And, like, I was pretty fast. Mm -hmm. So, like, um, like, all the coaches, like, no matter where I was, would, like, point that out, no matter what sport I was. Um, So then I started track and field when I was in seventh grade, and I started out doing, like, the 100 meter and hurdles and high jump and Mm -hmm. long jump. I didn't get into triple jump until, like, my freshman year of high school. It was triple jump. I do triple jump. What what is that? It's when you jump three times. Like how? like so like it'll go you'll like run, you'll jump off of this leg, land on this leg, go switch to the other leg, and then jump into the sand. Oh okay. Yeah. Do you know what long jump is? Yeah, just when you just run and then yeah, jump into jump. the sand. Yeah. yeah. No. Uh, triple jump is a little bit more technical mm. than um, long jump. So like that's what I, that's what that's my event. I'm mm. primarily uh, triple jump. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, like in high school, my coach was like, "Wow, she's like, she's like fast and like yeah. good body awareness from like from gymnastics, mm-hmm. and like, he, like I'm really also really coachable and I learn pretty mm. pretty fast. So like, all my whole entire high school career, like, um, like I just kept improving. So then my freshman year, I didn't." like my freshman year of track and field i didn't really know Mm -hmm. like like what was up and like i didn't really know like a lot about it but i didn't really know like how like good i was really until like the end of my freshman year because i won state um Mm -hmm. in illinois i'm from illinois Mm -hmm. um so then after that like i just became really serious about it um and yeah i guess i started getting recruited like mm-hmm. my sophomore year of high school to all all uh, all different kinds of schools. Um, so yeah, and then I just stuck with it ever since. Mm, and yeah, okay, okay. it's been a big part of my life. <laughs> so you're not like a fast runner, you're a jumper. Yeah, I'm a jumper. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know, yeah. <laughs> yeah Wait, do you have a video of you jumping? Yeah. Because if you see in the video, you can't really see it. I wanna see it in real yeah. life, but you can't. Let's see. Let's see. So you're you're basically a frog. Yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah, I can. I, yeah, I'll jump over the table right now. Um, oops. Okay. Here. Okay. Three jumps, right? Three. One, two, three. Okay. Okay. Wait. Lindsay, one more time. yeah Um, wow yeah okay so you have the track going Mm -hmm. right yeah and uh, you have the influencing going right yeah so what's your plan with influencing then now yeah like what Um, what, yeah what what do you have planned out okay so i so i have a lot of growth Mm -hmm. from my locker room tiktoks yeah though my dancing locker room specific specific dance moves right 
What is that? It's all like the trending. Oh, just trending. all the oh, yeah, I'll yeah, do yeah, all yeah. the trending like video, all the trending mm-hmm. dances, and people just like love Michigan stuff. Mm-hmm. So like that's how I've been growing a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, but I just signed with a management agency mm-hmm. uh, called Outshine Talent, mm-hmm. who will help me like monetize all my stuff. Oh, so like get me like like deals, like mm-hmm. negotiate the deals for me all that stuff but um i've just kind of been trying to grow my audience to like to be the type of people like i would be friends with Mm. like people like i do like get ready with me Mm. like unboxing stuff also along with like like the like the dances Mm. i'll do like day in my life um People love seeing that stuff, especially when it's like a Michigan like student athlete. Mm. So I've been just trying to like do that and also be like a positive like light in people's life. Like if I can help somebody, mm. like like that'll that'll make me feel like good. So I like that. Yeah, I yeah. I like that. So like people will DM me and be like, "Hey Riley, like just know like I love you so much." Like. <laughs> I'm like, and then I always respond. I'm like, thank you so much. That means so much to me. You have no idea. Um, or like they'll ask me advice and I'm like, um, mm-hmm. I'll most likely answer if I see it. So I just love that stuff. I love like helping. I should have went all the way back before I actually asked you about that. Okay. When did you start and like, why did you start? TikTok? Just everything. You have the podcast uh, in your freshman year. You started the TikTok in yeah, your freshman year. Yeah. Well, I've been doing. Well, I was on Musically mm. when it was when TikTok was Musically, like so many years ago. And I don't know. I would just I would just make videos. Like I've mm. always just been a big like um, video person. Like I used mm. to make like YouTube videos. They're not mm. up anymore. But oh, you privated them. Yeah. Or something? Yeah. Wait, unfortunately, why? unfortunately, because I was like, I don't was know. it a vlog? It was a vlog. Okay, yeah, it was like, a, it was like a f- there was like a few vlogs, um, but I think I want to start it over. That's why, mm. like, I was because when school starts, like, I have a, a lot of plans of like what I want to do for like content creation. Like, I would love to do like more YouTube videos about mm-hmm. like day in my life, vlogs, stuff like that, um, and just kind of like bring my TikTok audience onto mm. YouTube as well mm-hmm. um and instagram mm-hmm. instagram's kind of hard yeah the organic reach is yeah <laughs> <kinda> pretty bad <laughs> yeah yeah i yeah yeah so you started with uh tiktok and youtube and then were you dancing were you making uh, dance videos back then or were you making something else way back it was all like the like the trends were oh, like yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the musically trends where you go like this yeah like, yeah, yeah. where you <laughs> move the awesome camera music, yeah. and be like all that yeah, stuff yeah. but um i probably did a few few dances but i really just started doing like the dances with my teammate mia my mm. freshman yeah, year yeah, yeah. so freshman year okay yeah. yeah like two years ago almost okay so you basically started with dancing yeah with basically the, that the selfie whatever yeah that thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah yeah just like doing random like um like videos to like sounds yeah, of like yeah. me just like lip syncing the sound like the sounds mm-hmm. and yeah like yeah i'll just post anything gotcha. like like my content varies kind of a lot mm. so so going on from now do you think you're gonna keep the dancing or would you wanna branch out to something else I love doing the dancing videos, mm. so I don't think those will ever leave. Mm-hmm. It's just um, finding them, finding mm. the dancing videos, like to learn them is kind of hard. But like, mm. um, but when I when a dance does pop up on my TikTok feed, my for you page, I'm like I'm gonna learn it. Mm. So yeah. Is there a specific person that you kind of get in get inspiration? <laughs> No, it's just like it's not like a certain person. It's just kind of like, um, like if I see like a creator like choreograph like a dance, or I see mm. a dance on my for you page, like, like I'm a, like I'll learn it. Mm, so, yeah. 
And then you said something about the management. How、yeah. how'd you find how did you get to find about that specific management? Okay.、Um, I I reached out to like a big TikToker and I was、mm-hmm. like, hey, like when you were here, did you?、Um, oh, was it a DM? Or was it a oh in on TikTok? It、messages? was it was on TikTok、oh, yeah, messages because、yeah. we both follow each other.、Mm-hmm. Um, I was like, hey, like did you?、Um, who did you work with like when you were、um, at Michigan? And he was like,、um, wait, who was he? He was he was in Michigan. Yeah. Who was it? I don't know. Like. You know I、name? do know, I do know, but I don't know if like I should say it here. Oh, oh okay. Wait. I'll, I'll look it up. Okay. Okay. Anyway, okay. anyway, I'm gonna have to beep that. I think it might have <laughs> went in the thing. Okay. No, it's okay.、Anyway. <laughs> Not that it's a secret or anything. Yeah. yeah but、know. like, like we just follow each other、yeah. and whatever.、Um, and he told me like the agency that. That he works with, and then、mm. I was like, okay, that's cool, like whatever. And then like they ended up reaching out to me a few weeks later. Oh, because he he mentioned you.、So、no, that, not no? probably. It was probably like really unrelated, but they ended up like reaching out、oh. to me.、Okay. Um, but um, yeah, and then we had like a few Zoom calls、mm-hmm. about like. Like what it's about, like what they like the management agencies about, and just kind of like how they're gonna help and stuff like that. So then I was like, yeah, like that'll be good. Like I just thought that'd be like really good for me,、um, especially like being so busy with like school and、mm-hmm. sports like at Michigan. So、um, they're gonna help me like do my deals and like get、mm-hmm. them for me. So that's pretty exciting. Got you. Yeah. Were you scared? To join the management because I know that you have to be careful when you're signing something. Yeah, you have to I was so scared.、Right? I was so、right? scared. Like I read like the contract so many times. Wait, how long is the contract?、Usually? Two years. Oh, what? How long? Like lengthwise. Oh, oh, it was like. Was it like ten pages or something? It was like five. So five. like it wasn't horrible. Okay. Yeah. So then I like I negotiated stuff with them like about stuff that like I wanted、um, to like change in the contract and like I. Oh. I asked. Okay. All, yeah, yeah. You gotta say that. All my, all my,、uh, my business skills. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like. <laughs> okay. Yeah.、Um, but no, I'm really excited.、Got、I'm really excited、you. to work with them.、Got、yeah.、Mm-hmm. Do you know any other people who are also doing in this, doing the influencing or whatever、um, content creation, blah blah blah. Yeah, there's like a few people. That are here that are doing it,、mm-hmm. and then there's a lot of people doing like track and field, and influence, like influencer stuff on TikTok、mm-hmm. and Instagram. So like I've reached out to them, like and we're friends.、Mm-hmm. So,、um, yeah. Gotcha. And I like I like highly recommend like everyone doing it because like I don't know, I just think that it's like such a good、um, way to like, like especially because nil is such a new thing. Wait, what's nil? Name, image, likeliness,、oh. where like athletes can like make money on their like social, exposure. Yeah, like yeah. exposure and like social media and stuff like that.、Um, and I just think that it's a great opportunity for like every single athlete, especially like female athletes.、Mm-hmm. And so yeah, pretty big advocate for that. Like female athletes getting involved with nil, because usually they'll be like, oh no, I can't, I can't do nil. Like I don't have like a huge following. Um, I'm not a football player. I'm not a basketball player, and I'm like, yes, you can. Like,、mm-hmm. you literally can. Like, it takes like a while to like build your brand, but like companies will want to work with you just because like you're an athlete at Michigan. Yeah. So I just think I think、um, more people need to like、mm-hmm. know about that. Have you personally reached out to to your friends, saying, oh, you should start. The the content thing, yeah, the video, yeah, yeah. I I do, I do. Like everyone, like all my all my friends on my team. I'm like, like you should make videos. Like it's、right. not that it's not like too hard. You just got a video like a few times like during your day,、mm-hmm. and then put the clips together,、yeah. and boom, it's a day in my life.、Yeah. And people love that, especially like at Michigan,、mm-hmm. like because Michigan has like the like the biggest like、yeah. fan base community ever.、Mm-hmm. So has anyone started because of you? Um, Because I'm I, not sure. Right, <laughs> I also tell my friends, but they they never start. Yeah, they I know. Start. I know. I know. But I'm not. I'm not sure. You're not、I'm、sure. Not sure.、Um, 
gotcha, but gotcha. yeah i know so if you if you see anyone who also makes videos mm-hmm. or like art mm-hmm. do you sometimes reach out to them because i know that like the the creator mm-hmm. they will reach out to them into like a collab thing and like yeah i've never done like a collab mm. would love to do that um i think that'd be a great idea but that is a good idea because i, I know might that, start like doing that because i know that in the city for some reason i feel like they know each other yeah I like know. all of them yeah like detroit say like anywhere oh yeah i know yeah i agree um yeah, because I like in california yeah. la like they'll do like content houses yeah. and they'll all make videos together and i just mm. think that's like so cool but um, wait what do you think about the content house i don't know <laughs> yeah. i don't know but not I don't that really specific have... content house yeah but let's say you're thinking about making one you okay. know yeah Br- bringing creators in yeah what do you think that idea do you think it's a good idea to have a bunch of people in one house or do you think it's a bad idea because i saw a lot of you know drama there. yeah i mean like obviously there's going to be drama mm-hmm. in like any like content house especially when you're making like like tiktoks and stuff mm-hmm. i don't know people will probably feel like left out or like mm-hmm. feel like they're not um getting enough like attention mm-hmm. or something like that but i don't know a con like i'm trying to think of like a like a content house in ann arbor for like you have, U, you U of M students me and right. mia and that you guys you guys are two and they just need three more or something two yeah, or three no. more i mean me and mia are roommates so. we're actually right now yeah <laughs> <laughs> so okay. i mean i guess okay. you could say that our house is a content house yeah. but <laughs> um <laughs> yeah gotcha, um, gotcha. yeah so after you uh you graduate mm-hmm. Do you have a specific location that you want to settle? I think I want to live in Chicago. Oh, Chicago, yeah. Illinois. Yeah, Chicago, Illinois. Um, it's close to my family. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of opportunities there. Um, a lot of jobs. Mm-hmm. There, it's so pretty. There's so many things to do. Four seasons. I like the four seasons. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't want it to be somewhere all year round. Um did I say close to my family already? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah that. That's a I big see, one. Um, but yeah, there's so much stuff to do in Chicago. Yeah. Like, you can never get bored. So, so, so LA and New York City is out of your list. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, why? Wait, yeah. Why? I went to LA for a track meet uh-huh. um, last year, and it's just so packed. Mm. Like, you go out and spend, and it's expensive. You mm-hmm. go out and spend like $15 on a coffee. Mm-hmm and a million dollars on rent Mm -hmm. or a house more than a million dollars that's like that's like that's like that's like low for la right yeah Yeah. i don't know yeah and i've never been to new york city Mm -hmm. but all all i hear about it is that it's like that's like is it dirty yeah homeless people dirty dangerous yeah yeah i don't i don't Mm. don't think i can do that i just love chicago too much too Mm. so I've been going there since I was a kid. So um, let's move on to sponsorship. Because I feel like it would help people if we kind of shared what to look out for. Mm -hmm. Because I've had uh, a few times where they would, they wouldn't like scam me. Yeah. But the process, they would back out at some point. Really? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Um, Have you ever had like bad experiences? I had a bad experience with this toothbrush company oh so like they uh, they um i made a video for them right with like the toothbrush and they were like i don't like this can you do a video of you dancing with the toothbrush i was like okay well um Mm -hmm. um okay well now i'm remaking a video that already took like a while to make Mm -hmm. And what is me dancing with a toothbrush gonna do? Yeah, it's like it, like I didn't I didn't like the content that they wanted me to post. Mm-hmm. I posted anyway, mm-hmm. just whatever. And then, um, then going through the the thing, they wanted a um, the link in my bio to posts 
I thought it was just one. Um, two posts and like an Instagram story, mm-hmm. which um, I mean, I guess it would be kind of my fault for like not reading through the whole entire oh, like, <laughs> campaign or whatever. But like, it was a fact that I made a TikTok. Mm-hmm. It made complete sense. And they wanted me to make another one. Because it's so, because it said it's so, or because they didn't like it. Because they didn't like it on my, oh. uh, like, because they noticed that my TikTok dances do well. Mm-hmm. So I made this whole get ready with me thing, like featuring the toothbrush. Mm-hmm. And they were like, I don't like this. And I was like, well, I've never had anyone tell me they didn't like a video. Mm. And like I know what'll perform well on my on my page, mm. right? Or like what'll do well, cause like I did a sponsorship with um, Lumino. It was mm. a teeth whitening brand, mm. and um, like the video got like three hundred thousand mm. views. It's really good. It did really well, especially for, for an a sponsor. ad. Yeah, for a sponsor. For an for ad, us. like I know what's gonna work and mm. what's not gonna work. So they made all these changes to this video that I made. Like they're like, I don't like this, whatever. I did the dancing one, and I made another one for the second post. Yeah, the second too. And I sent it to them, and they were like, I don't like it again. Mm. So I was like, okay, well I'm not posting it. Well I'm not doing. Okay. I'm not making another video. And like we got into this whole thing where like they just weren't communicating well with me. And like not really like um, fitting into like my needs or whatever or like how I wanted to do the video because in the campaign or like in the instructions they were like yeah you can like or like do it organically like you know what that means that means like just just like feature it for like like in any video like Mm -hmm. you have freedom of what you want to do and turns out like I didn't have freedom of what I wanted to like post Mm -hmm. about it um, so that kind of like made me a little, little mm-hmm. mad, but I ended up not posting the second one. Um, just cause like I was, I, like, I was like, I'm not making another one. Yeah. Like you told me I had freedom of like what to create and I, and like I fully didn't. Yeah. So <laughs> I just never worked with them. I just won't work with them ever again. When was this? This was, was like. Was a long time ago? This was like in the winter. Winter. So, oh, so like, pretty recent. Pretty recent, like February, January. Oh. January, February, or something like that. Um, so, yeah. Gotcha. But that was the only bad experience. But I've only had other, I've only had good experiences since then. Gotcha. And before then. So, because when you were first doing the sponsor thing, did you know how to, like, what the process was? Because I didn't know. Yeah, no, like, I didn't, I didn't know either. Like, I would do stuff for free for, like, mm-hmm. gifting stuff. Um, and like i would respond to everybody Mm -hmm. and now like you can't really do that because Mm -hmm. you will get like you will get scammed you will get like shady people Mm -hmm. like in your like email Mm -hmm. um but like now i have like a good like routine of how i do it like i'll go to the page i'll see if i like the like the products i'll um like i'll negotiate with them like a price for like what I think is appropriate, like for my page, um, like I want to see if they're like reputable, mm-hmm. and like get it straight of like what I'm gonna post, how long it stays up for, and like um, just like all that stuff. Like if I have freedom to like do whatever I want, like what you want it on, like this slime company, like DM me on Instagram. They were like, can you do five hundred? five hundred dollars for 10 videos mm, they always start with that. 10 videos they always start with that <laughs> 10 videos <laughs> like they really lowball it and they then, really yeah. really do so i was like okay i'm not i'm not responding i'm mm. sorry like they had a lot of followers but i was like yeah 10 videos was it was it a ugc or blah 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 sometimes they they put in the ugc no it was well, like a slime account Oh. Like, I was like, okay, here's my rate mm-hmm. for one video on each platform. I was like, here's mm-hmm. my TikTok rate. Here's my Instagram rate. And they were like, okay, can we do this for 10 videos? Yeah. 10 videos is a lot. I don't even, yeah. If I'm That's like expensive. Videos, wow. 
Yeah. Wait. So do you know uh, what's your process of uh, do a s- what is what is it? Them wiring you the money and like po your you actually posting the thing? Yeah. Because I didn't know anything about that. I yeah. Ask him. So what's your process? That's a good question. Um. So you I'll they contact the vid- you? Yeah, they, they contact, contact me, and, then? and I ask them. Mm-hmm. Well, one of the first questions that I ask: Do you take PayPal? Do you do payment through mm-hmm. PayPal or Venmo? Mm-hmm. And that's the only way I'll take payments. Mm. Because if you if you go through like wire, it gets like shady. Yeah. I'm like, PayPal. you are not getting anything from my bank account. Yeah. Like, um, so like that stuff always scared me. Um, so I, I only take it through PayPal and Venmo, and then like I'll post right, and then they'll send me the paypal Wait, so like so they don't pay me first i post first and then they pay me oh it works like that yeah so they email you and that okay i like that and you make a video and then you do you send the video to them to make sure that everything's good or do you only, just post it only if they request a draft mm. and like that's most of the times um but usually like my videos are good so they'll be like okay you're free to post here's the caption and I'll post I'll post it and then they'll send me my PayPal. Oh okay. yeah. Because one time uh, I was working with this app okay. long time ago, last yeah. year, last year. Yeah. And then uh, wait, do you have to go somewhere? At four. At four thirty. What time is it now? Three three or three. Three or three? Yeah. Oh you have time. Okay, yeah. So they would they would email me and then I'll be like, okay. I'll send you the video before I post. Okay. And then I sent the video and okay. they were like, okay. No, actually, I don't think I sent the video. I didn't send the video. Okay. I didn't send the video. Yeah. And then I posted it, but they they didn't like it. Okay. Only because it didn't get the views that they wanted. Okay. So they just backed out. Can you tell me what company yeah. that was? It was a big one. So I was like, okay, they're pretty big. You know? Yeah. I trust them because right. I've seen yeah, other no, people. Yeah, it's like a reputable company. Yeah. But this one dude was like, nah, oh, you didn't get the views. That's not the views that we're looking for. And then it was, I think it was four, vid- eight videos throughout the whole month. So okay, yeah, two videos each yeah. week. Yeah. And then they, they backed it out. They shouldn't like... Unless they say pay per view, mm-hmm. they shouldn't like like take away the money that they offered you because mm-hmm. of how well the video performed. Yeah, that's just like that to me. Like I, I, I would be so mad. Yeah. So after so that, no. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not no, gonna. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would. I wouldn't either. But I'm, no. I'm gonna talk shit that, on, on that thing. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so after that, I realized, okay. Yeah. Before I, they actually send me the money, I'm not even gonna post anything. Okay. That's how I do it now. Okay. Gotcha. Just because I don't want to get scammed. Yeah. No, that makes sense, oh, especially yeah, from like that experience. Yeah. But um. But yeah. Okay. Okay. This could be a little sensitive topic. Oh gosh. Okay. You, you don't have to say it. Okay. Because right now, what I'm struggling right now. Okay. Pricing yourself. Okay. Like, yeah. how do you get that information? Mm-hmm. Because online, it's all over. The numbers are just all over the place. Yeah. Right? Um, like, how do you know uh, how to price yourself? Yeah. Well, when I started, it was like, I was like doing stuff for like gifting stuff mm-hmm. or like $50. Mm-hmm. But then like as my videos performed well, people were offering me like more. Mm-hmm. And like, I've just kind of like learned how to negotiate with brands Mm -hmm. um and be like super professional with them so then like obviously then your credibility like goes up um especially when like you gain more followers and consistency on your page um so then like as you like gain followers like your um like your like price will go up for like collaborations and stuff um but like i would just say like i so don't want to say like how yeah. much like I'm, yeah don't say i'm not y- going to you yeah let's say you have 
100k for example okay so based on if you have 100k mm -hmm. how much do you think would be a good like a rate yeah for a video if you have let's yeah. say you have 100k okay and you're getting um, how, how, how much how many views uh, let's say 50k 50,000 views on a video i would say like a thousand dollars got you got you mm -hmm. and then let's say you go to especially if it's consistent consistent yeah okay yeah let's say you go to like 250 yeah okay yeah followers and then you get around like 100k i mean it just what goes it think? just like goes up because um, every time i ask someone it's all over the place because i also yeah. ask this to my friend yeah. who's also doing the thing yeah wait do you, do you know simon you don't know anyway if i if i saw a picture i'm not really good with names oh. but and then and he says something about oh you should charge like four thousand to i don't know like three thousand to like five thousand okay but i'm like but when I throw throw that number out, yeah, people are like, "Whoa!" Yeah, like companies, right? Yeah. Um, but some companies are like, "Okay." Yeah. It's all right. over the yeah, place. Yeah, no, it is all over the place because if there's if it's like a bigger company and they have a higher marketing budget, you can kind of tell. So you can kind of like throw it out there. You can kind of throw, throw it out there, like if it's out. like if it's like like a big company, yeah, yeah, big company. like Fortune five hundred or whatever, whatever you want to call it, um, then you can like ask for more because they have that budget because they do so well how high do you think they should go <sighs> for the big know. company yeah because i i don't get like the the numbers like eight thousand right eight thousand mm -hmm. gotcha gotcha yeah. if you have like 100k and you're getting um, decent views or this is so hard for me yeah i've I have to like yeah. i want to like know yeah. what other people are charging and then yeah you know yeah like I can talk to you more about it. Okay, like, off, off the camera. Of camera but, but this is hard. <laughs> this is what I'm struggling with right now. Yeah, yeah. Because even though with these days the trend is the followers doesn't really matter these days. It's mm -hmm. the the reach. Yeah, the views know? and stuff and the like engagement. Yeah. So if you so. don't have a lot of views, uh, if you even if you have a lot of followers, if you don't have the views. Mm -hmm. It changes. Yeah. Again. Yeah, it does change. Because people on TikTok like take a long break and then yeah. they have so many followers and then get like 500 views. Yeah. Like companies aren't like then it, too attracted to that. So they're not going to like be like, yeah. oh, I'm gonna, here's $10,000. Here's $10, but um, yeah, it like varies yeah, that's a lot. Okay. Yeah, I'm still, I'm still like trying to like figure that stuff out too. Mm -hmm. Um, But yeah, like as okay. you grow, like it'll obviously go up like i heard that alex earl you know who that is yeah the, the, the alex the one earl, that just popped off yeah like, the one who just like got like immediately famous yeah. in the past few months like on tiktok mm -hmm. um i heard that she makes forty thousand dollars per mm -hmm. like advertisement which is totally fair P like she, she sells out stuff in the stores and stuff. her views are consistent i've like checked her page yeah yeah mm -hmm. her views are consistent like she's constantly growing like people will buy the stuff that mm -hmm. she like advertises and like it's like it's worth it for those companies so mm. yeah got you got you this is hard yeah, because i know that is, it is. when i when i watch mr beast my mm -hmm. podcast yeah he knows exactly like how much people should charge okay that's sick what is it he would go to the channel check the views he would just have the number and it would be accurate because wow. he he's done it like so so many times yeah. like he knows exactly right. how much you should price yourself yeah that is so cool so i was like no that's actually uh, really cool yeah. wow it's like getting I'll scammed have to, like, look at that yeah getting yeah. scammed it doesn't feel good no <laughs> not at all <laughs> it's hard it's hard out here yeah also one last thing one last thing and then okay. we're so this one one student mm -hmm. here is making like an app where they're trying to connect the companies and the creators through app okay so they're gonna have the rate and the the, the blah 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 their rate blah 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 mm -hmm. and then the company is gonna use the app to reach out to the creators what do you think about okay. that idea i like that a lot you like that yeah um student athletes actually have this app called influencer mm. and it kind of does that um yeah so like companies will be on the influencer app and then they'll reach out to like student athletes via the app and then sometimes you could pay the payment comes through the app mm. um 
so that's been very like um very nice for like nil stuff especially like this year and last year so yeah because sometimes when i look at the way they email people Mm -hmm. do you think they're gonna use the app because if they're gonna use the app if they can't lowball it like emailing like 10 videos for right yeah um what do you think just curious i would i would say like the app shouldn't like determine the price you have to charge you know what i mean but like i think that a big part of like being an influencer and doing collaborations is kind of like learning to negotiate and kind of like okay sell yourself and just kind of like set your your price Mm -hmm. you know what i mean so i think that yeah because it varies it really it does it does depending on like the company on like what platform yeah because honestly i think instagram like i charge more for instagram reels and ads than i do on tiktok Mm. because my content on instagram like isn't as um like consistent Mm -hmm. as where it is on tiktok Mm -hmm. yeah (laughs) anyway Mm -hmm. oh one last thing do you have anything to say to people who wants to make videos make videos one tip not like oh you should just post not something like that your personal you know okay um i saw this one thing on like on tiktok where it was Mm -hmm. like um a famous youtuber won't laugh at you for like your first youtube video Mm -hmm. or like a famous tiktoker won't laugh at you for making your first tiktok video like a billionaire won't laugh at you for like starting your own company Mm. or like the having like a little startup so i think like a lot of people care about what other people think right so i think just kind of getting over that fact and just kind of like posting for you posting for the audience that will be attracted to your videos because we all start somewhere right like um you're not gonna like post one video and then be famous the next day. I mean, sometimes it works like that, but the chances are pretty low for that. Um, so I mean, just like make videos like that you enjoy doing, make it fun um, and post consistently. <laughs> and just like, cause when you're having fun doing it, like it won't be like hard, like it'll it'll be like, I don't know. You look forward to it every day and it won't be like this this job that mm-hmm. you like have to do. Um so yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for <laughs> listening/watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.